Not every wonderful actor is a wonderful teacher, but that's what he is. He can just draw out potential in you that you didn't even know was there. I mean, we've all been telling him that he should be filming a before and after of his students, like make somebody do a monologue at the beginning of the three months and then at the end. And then like, I wouldn't need to be sitting here telling you how fabulous the course is because you'd see the results for yourself. I came into the course, said to myself at the very start, um, at the end of it, I want to come out a better actor and a better person. Two months down the line, yeah, definitely on the way to both of them, I think. Uh, from an acting point of view, uh, everyone who comes into the applied art and can act one way or another, but you're not learning to act, you're learning a very specific technique, which you can then apply to any character or any role that you're going to. And you can, be, you can be confident in that technique as well. The reason I like David Scott's Applied Art of Acting course is because it's very hands-on, it's very practical. There's very little sitting down and writing. Um, you're up on your feet all day, it's nine to five. It's very full on, it kind of um, becomes your life, but in a good way. Um, it's pretty all-inclusive. We do a little bit of everything and different techniques and different schools of thought like Meisner and uh, Sanozovsky and stuff and even just learning how to play the camera because something I never did before and it's really interesting. If you want to be a good actor, I think I think it's very important uh, while you're training, it's very important to find a good mentor, a good tutor. And I think David Scott is a very good tutor on that because cause like he teach you not he teaches you not only about acting, he teaches you how to be a be a person, be a, an artist for the art. And basically we, we learned we learned how to treat it as an art. And we learn yeah. vocally and physically and everything and, and psychologically. He's on a par with the teachers in New York, if not better. And um, his dedication to each and every student and the diagnostic teaching that he, he does for each student, and he really cares for every single one of the students. Um, and when I worked with him as a, as a student, uh, I, said, I said to him, you see things within me as an actor that I don't see what's going on before I even think of what's happening, which I think is, um, is a huge quality for, for a teacher. You forget that it actually it isn't about you, that it's actually mm. about the character. When in doubt, you just look up at your scene partner and it's yeah. actually for them. It's not about you, it's <laughs> actually to be there for them for their character, so I think that was a big kind of realisation moment for me and it got rid of fears and kind of self-consciousness and just a general nervousness. That was my main point that I think that I got from the course. The Applied Art of Acting is a three-month intensive course, half nine till five every day, five days a week for three months. This is a course where you learn one specific approach to acting. It's a technique that's been designed by myself over the past 15 years. Uh, it's taking its cue from a lot of the, the great uh, teachers as well, of course, but these, are, these techniques are new and they're cutting edge. Uh, without going into a huge amount of detail about the actual technique itself, one of my special interests when I came up as an actor, I found that the physical, the psychological and the emotional in terms of acting were separated by a lot of teachers and you were either a physical actor, a psychological actor or an emotional actor. This technique combines all of those. It brings them all back together so that there is one central way and there's one central approach that works. Um, we work on the physical, we train hard physically, uh, there is a, a, a full a warm up each morning in the course which runs for an hour and a half where the body is exercised, strength is found in the core and give us that sense of presence in our work. We work on the voice, of course, as well, in a great deal of uh, detail. But the main thrust of the course, then, is this particular technique, which is an approach which penetrates the idea that the character has a life of its own, that it has an essence, the same way that you do or I do. There's nothing magical about that. Uh, these things are found in logical, progressive ways, using very specific step-by-step -step, uh, techniques. Once that's found, however, once the, uh, the actor has, I suppose, opened up the ability to take something into the mind, to allow that to filter down into the body, to be felt in the knees, the feet, the toes, then there is later stages in, in the technical work where the actor takes that creativity and all of that work that's been discovered on that character and that scene or monologue and cuts the cord and really acts with total confidence, total abandon, 
so that that character has as much potential as possible to be seen without the actor getting in the way. I love working with actors. I love spending my time with actors. I could spend all day with actors. It's, it's great. And I enjoy it very much. And so when we start this course, we take a, a, a maximum of 16 uh, actors into the course. And that, 16, that group of 16 actors becomes a family. Uh, we get very close and we, we, become, we become an ensemble. We allow ourselves the permission to be critical. And we keep that light, but we keep it honest. That constructive criticism bolsters. It doesn't demean and it doesn't bring you down. I take buckets of notes. I take reams of notes on the actors. We have evaluations as we go along. And every actor is looked after here. And my time belongs to these actors. And I don't mind that. I don't find that that to me is work or a chore. That's a joy. Um, and I run to these classes every day. And the actors run in as well. And when the day ends, we're exhausted and tired, but we can't wait to get back tomorrow as well.